Hello everyone, Matt back with some more Legend of Zelda Link to the Past in the last episode. We fucked around a lot, and we found the magic hammer, which lets us do this to turtles. Yeah, expose that soft, soft underbelly, so I can stab it. Stab it right in your staff underbelly. I'm gonna go around this. Just, nah. I'll take those five rupees. Nope. Fun thing with this is, um... That thing doesn't count as a actual thing, so you can just kind of get it real stuck tight. Whew, man, that's hilarious to me every time. Anywho, uh, I gotta go hit that switch again. So I can actually continue on, and there's a dick in my way. A giant red fucking dick. Oh man, I hate those enemies. Those were literally my least favorite enemy in the entire game. Oh, God damn it, there's no hearts back here yet. Ugh, what a pain. So yeah, last time... Last time went really poorly, and this is a continuation of the previous recording session, because, uh... This is on the Wii U, uh, and not the, uh... Or, this is on the Wii, not the Wii U. So I can't just save and pick up where I left off. So I kind of needed to finish this dungeon. Which I didn't really... Well, it's not that I didn't want to do it, it's just, I'm tired. <laughs> and it, it's nice to get a third recording session in, which is awesome. Just means one little thing I have to edit, and I'm good for another day. But I am tired. <laughs> but I am tired. Ah, oh, man. Just... So much stuff has been happening at work. People are being so dumb. Hi, turtle. Bye, turtle. I'm getting I'm getting very sick of this beeping. So for you and my own health, I'm going to release this fairy so I can eat it. It's like frosted flakes. They taste great. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Dwayne and Brandon music recently, which probably none of you know what I'm talking about. So that's cool. Also, thank God I have that key because I. I had like a mini panic attack, like, do I have a key? Do I have a fucking key? Because what happened in the last episode, I was like, better have a fucking key. I want those five rupees, please. And if I remember this room, yep, this is the room of fucking tons of turtles. You must fuck all the turtles. Okay, so this is the annoying thing about turtles. Uh, hammer once... Ugh, ugh. God damn it, stop cornering me. Uh, one hammer uh, flips them one way, the other hammer, f well, each hit flips them, no matter what. And each time you flip them, they get faster, I think? Or it, it alternates faster, slower, faster, slower. Or slower, faster, because they start slow. So, kind of a pain in the ass. I took a lot of damage in that one room. Which one of these can I move? Probably the top one. Nope, this one. Nope, probably one on the right then. Yep. I have to stop, um, ooh, we're already at the boss. Um, I've noticed, uh, that I, like, make a popping sound with my lips a lot whenever I stop talking, and I need to break that habit. Anyway, I really don't want to fight this boss on this much health. Let us go fight. I don't remember this guy's name, but he's got a big mask. Actually, I'm curious now. I need to know what his name is. To the internet. Okay, I'm back. This is the Helmosaur King. Whoa, fireball. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Don't you hit me. So, uh, what you have to do is you have to crack his face off. Well, his mask. Um, and then you have to... Uh, basically, after that, you just have to start hitting him with your sword. But the main thing you have to watch out for is, you see how his tail is wagging really fast right now? Yeah, that usually gets me. No matter how hard I try to dodge it. Also, I usually, yeah, just walk into him like that. He does a lot of damage, by the way. Okay, getting close. Almost removed his face. He's really not shooting fireballs anymore, so it's really easy. And I just slice him with your sword. Now that he has no face. I walked right into his face. But don't worry, I had at least one fairy. 
I used the other one, yeah, so I have no more fairies after this. So I have to make sure I kill him quick. So, basically, go in guns blazing at this point. I don't know if arrows work on him. I could look that up. Ow. Oh, dear Jesus Christ, he does a lot more damage than I thought. I lost, like, all of my health immediately. Holy Jesus Christ, that was scary. There's my heart container. And, of course... Dun, 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 dun. Um, we found the first maiden that was trapped by, uh, Agnum. Fox, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil, of the evil monsters. Thank you. This world used to be the uh, golden land where the Triforce was hidden. But because Ganon, the boss of thieves, wished it to be, uh, it to be the... Bleh. Let me try that again. But because Ganon, the boss of thieves, wished it, the world was transformed. I'm sure he's intending on conquer to conquer even our light world after building his power here. He's trying to open a larger gate between the worlds near the castle using our powers. But the gate is not op open completely yet. If the s we, the Seven Maidens, come together, we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I will tell you where the other girls are held. I believe you will destroy Ganon. I will return to my original form at that time. Do you understand? May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Alrighty then, so now that we have the hammer, and if I wouldn't get lost in this place, I have to walk out the long, or yeah, I think I have to walk out the long way, because there's no quick way in or out of this place. Just chew off with your goddamn spears. Oh, I went the wrong way. There's also a lot of, oh man, I did it again, I just realized. I have to stop doing that thing with my, uh, where I like tisk with my mouth because it's so loud and it probably comes out so bad in the recording. I don't know why I started doing that recently. I guess a lot of things are annoying. Anyway, so I believe there is something over here that we can grab. I think. I'm not positive. I should probably make sure of things before I try them. But, you know, gotta try them. Uh, go away, bird. Goddamn bird. Okay, so I think if we use the magic mirror here... No. Where is it? Isn't there a piece of heart over here? Is it just up here? No, this is fair found. Hold on, I need to check where this piece of heart is. Be right back. Alright, uh, it appears I was thinking of another heart piece, and it's on the other side of the continent. So, uh, for some reason I thought there was a heart piece here. Don't know why. But, anyway, because of that, I will, uh, pick up my good old trusty hammer, and continue stabbing things in its face. Go away, bird. Nobody likes you. So, anyway... Let us travel over to the other side of the continent. Because we need to get over there anyway. Because there's a few things I want to gather. And first off, these guys are really getting on my nerves. So this is why we needed the hammers. Because uh, we could not travel south here. Uh, until we had it. Hi, smiley skull. Rock. It's a weird rock. So, there's something very far this way. I think I can go for it right now. If we just keep going this way. Oh, God, that was some intense slowdown right there. I think that even happens if you try to do that in the original game. Um, so, go up here. Go around this way. Ah, uh, no, we do need, uh, the Titan 
the upgraded uh, gauntlet. I wonder, does this guy give me a shovel or do I have to find a shovel somewhere else? I forget. Welcome to the treasure field. The object is to dig up as many holes as you can in 30 seconds. Any treasure you dig up will be yours to keep. It's only 80 rupees to play, what do you say? And I will lend you my shovel. Shovel. When you have it, when you have it in your hand, start digging. Press Y to dig. Okay, so uh, the main reason why I'm doing this is one, I need a shovel, but I guess this does not give you a shovel. So you can find a bunch of money in here, but there's some other stuff that you can find too. If I wasn't fucking up. And you don't get a lot of time to do this, so. God damn it. Keep fucking up. Okay, time's up. Game over. Come back again. Goodbye. So, basically. <laughs> um. There's a piece of heart to be gotten there. I'll be doing that a little bit later, though. You can do it right now if you want. But it takes time, and there's some... I want to do it when uh, I actually have some time to spare. Because right now I'm... I can go do stuff still. So down here we can go to the next dungeon. But we don't have enough time to start that, I'm afraid. So actually... I think... I think... Where do I get the Titan Cement? I don't even remember, now that I think about it. I don't remember. Anywho, I'm gonna go back over to the old lady, because I really need to get that item from her. So I'll be right back, guys, and I hope I don't die. I'll be right back. Okay, now that we're back up here, let's see what this little old hag has to say. Nope, still nothing, huh? Oh no, I have to actually go into the shop to get it. Duh. Alright, so this is the item that I needed to get. Um. This is the magic powder. Try to sprinkle it on enemies and many other things. So that's the thing I was waiting for. And now that we have that, I think I'll end this episode off. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention, hold on, before we go. Uh, while I was cutting, I picked up an upgrade for arrows, so now I can carry 35. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. This has been Matt, and I'll see you all next time.